it's a fascinating read and for once we really did start to see how I wouldn't say it's a house of cards but everyone is intertwined in some way particularly the big players yes I totally agree um, I think it really shows you know, for the past few years, people are talking about how institutions have come to crypto. But when I think the example of Three Arrows really shows that when we're talking about institutions, there are only these few actual big players out there in crypto. And because now Three Arrows is collapsed and every, everything so intertwined, and then as a result, you are seeing this contingent across crypto assets because of that. Yeah, it's a very interconnected world, as this piece shows. If you make a Venn diagram of the space, there's a lot of shaded boxes there. But I am curious about what was sort of the first domino to fall for Three Arrows Capital in particular, because they had a lot of bets go wrong. But where did it start? I think that's a very good question, because I think it all started with the collapse of Terra blockchain. Um, I think that happened back in May, if I remember correctly. Um, at the time when Terra collapsed, uh, this is a billion dollar worth of project, it collapsed. And you, you got to think, you know, this is a lot of money involved in this project. And when it collapsed, somebody, some big players must have been hurt from that. And people were talking about contention around Terra, but things were quiet for a while until through arrows clap so which proved you know big money were involved in Terra and as a result that's what uh, part of the uh, triggers the collapse of, uh, of three arrows in general do we know much more about the way in which they're trying to liquidate do we understand the relationship that's evolving between them and the liquid because it looks a lot of crypto world is dealt with on Twitter a lot of our political world is too <laughs> but we are sort of hearing like the, the founders go silent then they reappear you know what's what's unfolding there I think that that's a part that's like really hard to tell. Um, I, I, like as someone who learned a lot about finance, how financial world works from crypto, I thought it was very interesting that people oftentimes find it's kind of surprising that a lot of crypto influencers, or a lot of crypto leaders like Suzu, Kyle, and uh, Do Kwan France, uh, Carol just kind of ghosted on everyone. <laughs> you know, like I, I, I heard, I heard at least in traditional finance world, people tend to be more responsive. They are forced to go out and talk to media, talk to the public about what's the next steps they're taking. But in the crypto case, it seems like it's just fine that people just go on everyone and go quiet. And we don't even know where Suzu and Kyle are like today. So I thought it was very interesting. That's one of the great mysteries, where physically in the world these people are. But you know, there's a lot of hard lessons being learned right now. And going back to that point that you know this is a very inter connected world. Where does this leave the industry going mm -hmm. forward? Could we see some of those links start to dissolve and people try to dissolve that map a little bit? Oh yeah, of course. Um, like for me, uh, one of the biggest things that I learned from a lot of industry leaders who were, have, who, who were very open talking to me on this story is that um, crypto right now, they're basically making the same mistake the traditional finance are making, that there is little transparency in terms of who's lending to who, who's borrowing money from whom, as a, um, and the collapse of the three arrows really you know, made it even worse. Um, I think going forward, crypto people are likely to really take lessons from that and be more transparent between different centralized uh, players, and also taking advantage uh, of the, 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 the transparency of decentralized finance, which was also had an exposure to three arrows. But interestingly enough, they were not as like divested as a lot of the centralized mm -hmm. players such as Voyager. 